Hello and welcome back to the Nords. So, things have been going quite well for us. Our succession is sorted. Um, Eastern Skyrim is going to be destroyed within the next generation because our wife currently holds East March, which means that my son is going to get that. So he'll have all of Eastern Skyrim in, the in theory uh, and all of this, which seems pretty good. By all of Eastern Skyrim, I mean he'll have this bit of it, which is, you know, pretty much all of it. Within another generation, we actually get the, um, what's it called? The Hold of Bruma, because his wife's going to get that, which then means our daughter's going to inherit both of those things, which is great. Now, you might be saying, what's a Bruma? And that's a great question, because if we look down here, um, Bruma doesn't really exist anymore. I mean, this is Bruma, but like quite clearly, there isn't Bruma here. But if we split this up, you'll see that this is actually Bruma now. It's a little weird. Um... I think there's a chance the AI destroys the title before we get there, but I'm not 100% sure. I think the AI has got some things in there to kind of clean up titles that they shouldn't have. It doesn't always work, but like they, they, I think there is something in there where they can do it. But anyway, um, so essentially we're going to get that. So what do we want to do with this character? And what, how do we want to finish off uh, playing them? Well, I have a couple of different things that I'm thinking of. The first one is Hjalmarch is actually... You know broken up a little bit down here so we've got a ton of little places that we can potentially go and eat and just one by one grab them all is that a kingdom down there yeah so we could effectively get the entirety of the kingdom of the rift and make that our own which is not too bad we could also potentially do the same thing to bruma i mean look at this there's all these individual bits of bruma that we could eat up so that as well potentially something we could get the heartlands are minorly scary but I don't think they're as scary as we might think because currently we're sitting at 60% less uh, levies and taxes. So I think that once that gets fixed, we'll actually be in a really good situation. So that's something that I want to look at. We got these little bits in here, which I think were also Hial March, and those are probably the ones that we should grab first because I think they're actually, yeah, they're within a kingdom that we already have. So that'd be nice. And just basically go around and eat all these tiny little places all over the place. Uh, that's kind of our goal now. One other goal that we have is to get to divided attention. That'll get our domain limit up and that'll fix all of the problems that we have with domain. And after that, given that our stewardship is so low and that our wife is no longer contributing, I think it's probably time to ditch the stewardship education and see if we can get just a little bit of magic in here. Just to try it out, you know? See if there are any events for magic, that sort of thing. Um, and yeah. It's quite a lot to ask. We are 72 years old with poor health. So, I mean, like, in two seconds, we might just be dead. But, you know, um, we should hope for the best. Although, have we got any spells we could cast on ourselves? Not, obviously, us, but, like, our court mage. Mm, no, not really. Okay, we could summon a Daedra. We haven't done one of those in a while. Gives us prowess and natural dread. Sure, you know what? Summon us a Daedra. Cool. Right. I think we should eat some of these ones. Now, would you just become my vassal? No. Why not? You're not rightful liege. Minus 100. I think being the rightful liege is like plus 20 or plus 25. So effectively, if we were her rightful liege, it would be a 125 swing, which is still um, not enough if you're looking at that there to get her to join us. Okay. And I assume it's the same for everybody over here. You're minus 300. Oh, realm is distant, it says. Um, the reason why it's, it's, it's so much is because it doesn't believe that we border. Because if we had to walk to their realm, we'd have to walk through that bit of land. Okay, cool. How about Carthwatch then? Or Carthwatch, just the only other one. Not rightful liege, minus 100. So if we were to create the Kingdom of the Rift, we could actually grab this title immediately. The only problem is it would mess up our succession. So I think we're just going to have to declare wars. Okay. That's the wrong one. I can claim land via prowess. I don't really need to claim the land. I can just declare a conquest uh, war, right? Yeah. Or Lendman Rorix claims. Yeah, okay. So what is Lendman Rorix claim? Uh, exactly. Like, what does he... Yeah, no, leave that open. There we go. Close that one. So he holds Skyhammer. The Duchy of Skyhammer is this... So no, I don't want to depress his claim because really I don't want him to have this land because I want him to have his duchy, not this duchy. Okay, cool. 
So I think we'll just declare a nice little uh, county conquest. We have significantly more troops. There's really nothing we should be worried about whatsoever here. Let's just raise our troops here. I could maybe get away with just raising the men-at-arms. No, no. Actually, I don't have nearly enough actual men-at-arms. I, <laughs> I have a lot of siege units. Not a lot of men-at-arms. Okay. Cool. We'll do this. We got everybody. Uh, yes, this is what I'm looking for. Siege weapons. Stop your gathering just to save us a little bit of cash. And walk over there. Oh, do we have a siege leader? We do. Perfect. And he's even quite good at fighting normally, so I can just apply him now. New acquisitions. During the daily management of my realm, I've learned several different opportunities I can pursue. Each opportunity has great potential, but realistically, I can only pursue one of them. I must determine what would ultimately give me the most value. A tome. Um, this person could use help managing holdings, so a favor. Or 235 gold. I will take 235 gold, thank you very much, and that basically funds our wars. Wonderful, we need a new chancellor. New chancellor is going to be... This dude. There you go. Right. Uh, anything else that we can do right now? Not really anything that I want to do. Could repair these, but there's not really a great reason to. I'm just see if any of them are about to break any, you know, right now. No. Okay, I think we're fine. Oh, um, some of our allies were slain. Well, that's not great. Or uh, must be our knights died. Personal champion uh, vacated. Okay, so King, it's because it's now King Rorlach, who is our player heir. Interesting. All right. My dear Myrta, I might not have loved you, yet I feel you're passing more acutely than I ever thought possible. You were always there, my constant companion. Did I take you for granted? There are so many things I left unsaid. Okay. So our player heir now holds East March. Which now means that if we die, he will get the Kingdom of Falkreath. Which means that he will have all of this within eastern skyrim which means that we will be with a vassal of eastern skyrim and we can then do a faction to maybe destroy it or take it over we took it over that gives us an empire title we take all of the east and suddenly suddenly we're we're we're, uh, we're going somewhere okay now the great thing about our wife being dead is that i can just do this i would like to marry somebody with really high stewardship okay i'm going to marry you Perfect. Don't care about anything. In fact, it's even better if she's lowborn and has no connections. So we'll marry her. And then... Let that one go through. Accepted the hand in marriage. That now means that we're getting a little extra stewardship. And we're only taking a minus 40% penalty. Can I push it up any further? What do you give me right now? Plus 4. You get an extra 6. An extra 6 would be perfect. Yeah, go into manage domain. We're now only taking a 20% penalty, and our vassals hate us less. And what's good about that? Well, it means that our vassal opinion has actually gone up. So everybody who's giving us stuff based on opinion should be giving us more, although this guy's giving us negative. Oh yeah, I was asked in the comments, why am I putting them all on based on opinion, opposed to based by fame? Like, um, based by fame is only for tribal governments. So, like, some of these we just don't have, right? So, I, I literally just put them on the one that I can. So, it's the option is they contribute nothing or they contribute based on their opinion. So, out of those two options, I'll take that. So, anyway. Right. As the uh, very excitable music is telling me, we are actually at war. So, I should focus on it. Also, thank you for the 290. Uh, I don't think we need a feast. That's fine. Uh, popular figurehead. Popular opinion goes up, which means all these little factions, if there are any, like this populist faction, should start being less uh, attractive. Although, weirdly, they're not getting popular opinion from me. Let me just wait a second. They get no popular opinion bonus. Huh. It must. That must only apply to, like, my direct holdings? Yeah, okay. That's not very useful. Like, I would much rather that apply to lower holdings, but whatever. Um, it's probably so that they can still rise up against your vassals, because otherwise it would mean that, yeah, because there's only one popular, um, yeah, there's only one popular opinion value, so I guess that's why. Yeah, that makes sense. So you couldn't then stack them if you had every vassal along the line, because in theory you could have a count holding the holding with a duchy above them, 
with a kingdom above him, with an emperor above him, if you all had popular opinion boosts, you would, they would all have plus 50. Yeah, and you could end up with 250 bonus opinion. Okay, now I see why it's only your own holdings. It is a lot less useful, but whatever. Right, we've won the war. Cool. Uh, divided attention is next, which is the one that we're after. Things are looking good. Yeah. Oh, um, I, I need to give away this holding. This holding is in the Duchy of Roldan, which I am going to create. Um, yeah, I was hoping that he had a vassal, but he doesn't, unfortunately. So I'm just going to give this away to some random person then. Grant to a new noble. Make him out of nowhere. And Baslot, I'm going to grant you the hold. I'm just checking something here. So Lendman Thar of Karspire will go with him. But the other one will not. Cool, so he'll have two holdings and have a reason to try and get this one back. Yeah, I think this works. Yeah. So now our land looks like this, and then potentially you can take some land off a Skyhammer at some point. Cool. Right. And he absolutely loves us because we've given him land and all of that sort of stuff. He's very, very happy. Right, uh, we can raise a runestone. Uh, would that be a conquest runestone? Yeah, it's not a clout one, unfortunately. So yeah, we don't want to raise a runestone. Hold court, we could potentially do. Um, yeah, I think we're fine there. We're fine there. There was something else I wanted to do in my head, and I'm like, nope, not coming to me. All right, I'm going to unpause for a second or two. You would like to pay for a truce? You'd like to pay me 170 gold for a truce? Sure. I accept. Speak Nordic. I did want to briefly check, actually, my uh, son over here. Maybe that was what I was looking at. So he now holds all this land. Um, who's in... Yeah, who's in line to Eastern Skyrim? Snows Nadir. Okay, I was just checking whether it happened, like, whether our son is in line. No, our son is nowhere near it. And I'm guessing that's because most of these people... Oh, no, you're Cyril Nordic. The, the top one is Cyril Nordic. Then we got... Um, what else here? Westholder. Westholder. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so the... the um, Culture being Westhold means the people with a lot of votes are voting for them, and then Cyril Nords are voting for the Bruma. Okay, so that's why he's not next in line. Right, now we know why he's not next in line. Um, it's time for us to have a look at these wars, I think, because we could potentially do a couple of those while I try and remember whatever it was I was thinking I needed to do. Um, one other thing that we need to do is we can now repair all of these artifacts because we actually have some money, and it's not like that bad to waste our money on these right now. It was bad when we were, like, low on money, but now we've got some, it's probably a good idea. So let's do some of those. There we go, and we'll repair all of those. Perfect. Samar Skilmar can marry. So that is... Granddaughter... On what side? So that is... Through Hema. Ah, okay, so this is our bastard child, maybe? No, wait. This is different Hema. Never mind. It's not the Hayama that's our lover. This is a different one, right? Maybe? Wait, the, yes, yes. So it's not that one. Okay. So who is Hayama? Hayama is our daughter who is dead. Ah, okay, right. So it goes through them, then it goes to Samar. Um. Okay, who is still an illegitimate bastard, but she needs to be married off. Okay. Um. Can we drag someone into our court? Uh, no, but we could matrilineally marry Viscount Abnur, the puppet master of Shadenhal, which is down in uh, Cyrodiil somewhere, right? Yeah, so it's down in that area. Okay, and that then means that in theory their children would be in charge of that land. However, it's more likely going to go to this person. Wait, no, what's your succession law? Succession law is equal partition. So why is it going to this dude? Um... I guess maybe, maybe it's you, hmm. maybe it's your child, your child's child, yeah, okay, so it goes down there, that's fine, uh, so I don't think we need to do that, we could marry it off to my vassal, which would in theory mean that he can't, like, rise up against me, which I'm also not that worried about, um, I really just want you to marry someone unlanded, actually, let's just find somebody unlanded for you to marry, let's bring in a trait, so let's go inheritable traits, and then look for, uh, where are we, landed, 
There's got to be a landed thing somewhere. Ruler. There we go. Unlanded. Not ruler. There we go. That's better. Uh, how about this guy? Yeah, you can marry this guy. Bring him to our court. Wonderful. Right, that's that sorted. Uh, let's declare our next war. So do I want to declare against Hragen or Bleakwind? Um, or, you know, why not both? In fact, why not? Oh, you've got a ton of alliances. Uh, wait, who are your allies? Autumn Shade, who is... Oh, down here. Okay. Yeah, we'll hold on for a second then. If you've got ones from all over the place. Right, we can declare a de jure war. Wait, if we can declare a de jure war, we're your rightful uh, leash, right? No, I guess we'd be the rightful leash if we had kept the duchy. Okay, I'm going to declare a de jure war. Which costs 100, 100, or... Well, I guess I should just declare this one, right? Yeah, because it only cost me 100 piety rather than uh, 100 piety and 100 prestige. Okay, let's do that. Then Bleakwind. Let's declare using... What's Abomination Cleansing? All titles... Um, yeah, uh, oh, okay. Within the target title, you all titles held by Abominations and the rest are vassalized. You get all titles, probably? Okay. Um, but I can't do it because my devotion is not high enough. Okay. So what marks him as being an Abomination? I don't know. Maybe it's just the holding that has Abominations in it? I'm not sure. Not sure at all what marks this as being an Abomination. Open holding... No, I don't really see anything obvious that would mark it. Hmm. I don't know. Like, I think I'll just declare a war. That'll probably work. Yeah, conquer county. Cool. Let's raise all of our troops. And just do it. Drinking companion. Lendwoman Greca became our friend. Wonderful. Right. Clear out some of these. Clear out some of that. There we go. Purchase truce. Let me pay, pay me 170 gold for a truce. Sure, why not? That seems fine. Yeah, I'll accept. Thank you very much. Split our army in half. I do actually want a siege unit in each half for once. i send you over here, and we're going to send you over here. Yeah, it works. Let's go. Right, uh, wait. I do have leaders on both armies, don't I? I think so. Ooh, wow, they're getting destroyed. I did not see that coming. Okay, well, we won one more. Force our demands. That is the jure part of this clanstead, which this guy will probably want, so we will grant him that one right there. Cool, he's very happy with us now. They're backing off. Let's head down here, see what we can do. Uh, people are fornicating. Okay, absolutely not allowed. People are trying to murder Lane Telvani. Okay, head back down here to Carthwatch, and let's see what we can do. Exercise and mediation. When the raised voices reached me yet again, I quenched my instinct to turn on my heel. The constant bickering of my vassals is enough to drive any man mad. Something must be done. Um, make them see sense. Annoy one or annoy the other. Okay. Well, which one do I want to get opinion with? Probably this person. They're quite close to liking me. Cool. Scheme at court. My spymaster has come to me for discovery. She is certain that my vassal Lentman um, Idlami is scheming against my courtier. Uh, I'm just going to let everybody know that that's happening. So then uh, that will stop the thing from hap the war from happening. Uh, okay. War? Murder? Murder from happening. I was Two things happened at once. Mind completely gone. Right, I need a guardian for you. It's another random thing happening. So this is our bastard son. What are you going to do? Um, I'm thinking... No, stewardship's probably fine. Yeah, you're already on that focus. That seems good to me. Uh, oh, wrong menu. Let's find you somebody to educate you. Right. Uh, no, we're not going to educate you. Who have we got that might be good? You look fairly okay. Genius. Yeah, that works. What? No, I want you to educate him. There we go. I want to clear me and have you educate him. There we go, perfect. I think I cleared both sides. Maybe, I only meant to clear one of them. So that's okay. Right, we'll send that one across. See what happens. 
Right. Um, when this army gets here, I think we'll... Oh, I guess we'll just die then. That's fine. Jarl Erich of Falkreath's soul has finally been cast into oblivion at 73 years of age. He died of old age. Once famous for his looks, fate cursed him with a long life... Or with life long enough to witness his beauty slowly wither away. Jarl Rorlach ascends to the throne. Being a talented military tactician, many expect him to lead the realm to many victories on the field of battle. Oh, wow. Okay. So, this guy inherited Falkreath, plus some lower titles. We inherited everything else. And there we have it. 19 years as him, and now we are Rorlach. And Rorlach is in a very interesting situation. Because he's within Eastern Skyrim, but he controls a lot more than his liege. I can tell you that for certain. We have 15,000 troops. Our liege has 500. Whatever we want to happen, will happen. So, that's pretty good. What wars are we in? What's the other war? Falkreath Conquest of the Land of Bleak Wind's the one that we're in. And there's a war against the tyranny of Jarl... Um, someone? Oh, we're an assistant in this one. I see, of Jarl a Yolding, which, yeah, we seem to be winning. Okay, let's finish this war quickly. Let's we'll see where things go. Uh, we need a, uh, one of these perks. Let's just go with this one for just now. Actually, we're probably going to go for stewardship. So we probably need three stewardship to hold extra holdings. So that seems fine. Right. Make sure we have some uh, commanders. Go. There we go. We have won the battle. And we should be on the way now with the armies to winning the war. Let's make sure we have a good commander in charge. How long does it reckon? Ten months. Okay, I don't really want to jump forward 10 months without having a look at everything. Um, what I might do is I might take this as an opportunity for a step back, an opportunity to look around, an opportunity to end the episode a little bit early. Sorry there have been a couple of cuts in the episode. You know it's the time of year where people keep coming to the door and uh, you have to keep interrupting things, but uh, thank you for sticking with it, and uh, I will see you tomorrow for the new character who's going to have a lot to do. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.